Hey guys, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have the legend Skinny the Medic. Medic. See, in other parts of the world, I know as Skinny Medic. In Tennessee, I'm known as something different, right? Sh Shitty Medic. Yep. So <laughs> we finished up day one. We're in like half a day two now of mm -hmm. fighting pistols. One point five days into it. So it's been an awesome class so far. I'm gonna do a full review on it for you guys, but just wanted to interview James Jager about it. Well, the girl's hey, gonna come. Hey, sweetie. Here. So. We'll Check just, her out. We'll just keep on rolling. Hi, but, how are um, you? It rained yesterday, but seems about right. Well, obviously we couldn't train in perfect, beautiful 70 degree weather, but we kept training. So uh, I've been shooting a Glock 17 with Mac, it, zero failures with it. Um, so I was very happy about that. My wife and I talked about it. I was like, I'm happy that there was other guns that had malfunctions. Well, but my, but if you jam enough Tennessee clay <laughs> in a gun, I don't care who makes it, it's not going to work. But and not to interrupt you, but that's that's one of the things that we tell people is unless you train in adverse conditions, you really don't know what you or the gun is capable of. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely for me like the first day shooting from my back. I've never shot from my back. Um, shooting with dirty magazines, I can say I've never done that. Like just taking mud, wiping off a slam into a gun to shoot is something I've never done before. So no, going no, mud, mud is something we don't have. We have clay, <laughs> clay infused with sand. It's, it's something. It's something. <laughs> but yeah, that mindset too. You know, we, you know, Candace and I were talking to my wife last night about this. And this is a class she's going to take. Um, we're going to get her signed up to take this class. I think it's a good class for women to take. But that mindset of, you know, being ready for the fight, looking around, keeping your guard up. Never share a stage with animals or kids. <laughs> They will always steal the show. They're beautiful. Like my little girl's beautiful. I, there's you're absolutely a doubt. Never share the stage with kids or animals. <laughs> they will always steal the show. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you thank you for the put on the class. Thank oh. you for the and like he's you, you said a couple of your videos that your instructors are top notch and they are. Um, there's been three or four extra guys here that are teaching with this class. We are a large class and they're top notch. They're well, awesome. Well, really, I'm not really teaching. You're just you're uh, just there to disrupt the class. Yeah, Let's just say that. I'm heckling, you know, <laughs> students and instructors. Now, nobody's safe, you know. But you know what, what? What I'm doing in these classes is is you know we do it in relays. So that second relay, they're back there jamming the mags and stuff. And I want to make sure they don't have any questions. And I also want to make sure I have one on one on one time with, with every single student. You know, I want every single student to have talked to me and us shared stuff. And if they want a picture, whatever the case may be, I, I don't want anybody to feel like I took fighting pistols with James Jager and I didn't even get to talk to him. You know, so this way. I answer every single question as an instructor, that's important to me, and I get to interface on a social level with every single student individually. Yep. And like today you're talking about how you're teaching from the moment I have to say stop mm -hmm. and draw my weapon to now the police have showed up and I need to you know, take care of that situation or take care of medical situation. You're coming from I'm teaching you from, from the word go until it's over. And I've never had an instructor in a class like that before. So well, you know, and it, there's not there's nobody else that does it. But but here's the thing: there are guys that are really good at stuff, and they, and they, they and they do really good jobs with that. And uh, and sometimes people say like they're um, like let's say there's a former special forces guy, you know, or a former SOCOM guy that's going to teach this pistol class. And they're like, yeah, but he was a special forces guy. And I'm not taking anything away from those guys. Please don't think that I am. But I have more experience in the United States carrying concealed than those guys do. This is what I've done. So you're kind of you're kind of in my wheelhouse, so to speak. And so that's why my classes include those things because I have this is what I do. This is how I've lived as a cop and, and, and as a citizen carrying a gun all these years. I have amassed this information and I've I have decided after I've seen it happen enough times that it's important. So it's merely because I have a different perspective and history and experience about the subject that my class is different. Awesome. So, just want to tell you guys thank you. If you haven't checked out James Jager's channel, obviously go there. Uh, TacticalResponse.com. I don't tell people my website. You don't? I, because I say, if you're too stupid to find me, I don't want your money. It's basically, it's like an IQ test. Like, literally, if they if they are not motivated and smart enough to find me and look for my classes, you don't want to hear. They, they would just slow us down out here. So, find James Jager. He's good, awesome. Good luck. <laughs> you never know when you'll be the first responder. You're never in, never, I just... Don't use my lines. I was going to say... The, the responsibility? <laughs> no, because the one you messed up. That's what we were talking about in class. It never ceases. Never ceases. There the we responsibility go. responsibility to be ready for the fight never... Ceases. Ceases. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. Awesome. <laughs>